One of the first things you'll notice when seven-year-old Sophia steps into your world is that even the simple task of getting off the bus brings a smile to her face and everyone else's. Since she's come in our lives, has just been this smiling face of joy. We discovered how special Sophia is when spending time with her and her family in their home state of Virginia near the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. All right, go, go. Sophia has Down syndrome, and she also has low muscle tone, which her parents say has caused delays in her speech. Hi. Hi. In fact, her mom, Jill, captured audio recording off her phone just four years ago, where you could barely understand what Sophia was saying. How are you? All righty. On this day, we're walking with Sophia and her dad, Tim, to her latest speech therapy session at the Crozet Speech and Learning Center. We're gonna clap it out. She, she is painting. painting. Great. And while it's clear how much this therapy has improved her life, her mom says it almost never happened. Therapy's expensive. And people that make regular salaries, it's too expensive. Nice job. Faced with coverage gaps with their health insurance, they couldn't afford therapy. It's a really heartbreaking thing. You really feel like you're sort of failing as a parent, that you so want to do these things and you're stretching to make things happen. That's when a friend told them about the United Healthcare Children's Foundation and the impossible suddenly became possible. When we started receiving it, it was, I'd say a godsend, I mean a blessing. I cannot say enough how much this has meant. They've received two grants so far, totaling $5,000 that pays for Sophia's speech therapy. She has really made some nice progress. She, when she started working with me a year and a half ago, she was producing mainly one-word utterances. It was just a few months ago. I think she actually said five words in a row, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> like, she just said five words in a row that I understood every word. Like, that is mind-blowing. That's mind-blowing. Her therapy sessions have also helped her communicate. <laughs> this is Sophia's best friend, Addie. And form deeper relationships with a world that had trouble understanding her. <laughs> but now that world is hearing Sophia's story much better from the smiling seven-year-old herself. I like so appreciate and, and honor that people are stepping forward and seeing that there's someone in need and reaching down and lifting them up. So I'm very touched, I'm very moved, and I, th I think it's amazing what you all do. The end. Yeah. Awesome. Nice job, Sophia. You're up. <laughs> you didn't say it. You didn't say it, so you I got it. Say it. So I got it. If ever you find yourself without Google in the beautiful Ozarks of Northwest Arkansas. Hey, I said it first. Consider finding 10-year-old Maddox. I go through a law school and I never got held back ever. Who is his own personal search engine of information. Sharks are dying very quickly, very, very quickly. With hunting, either you're gonna get a turkey, a squirrel, a bird, or a deer. His mom, Erica, a school teacher, and dad, Les, a pastor and disabled veteran, say Maddox's gift of gab has come on recently. I have hand. He sometimes doesn't stop talking or asking the questions over and over again. Hard to believe when you think about where he's been. He just wasn't really communicating to us. He would point to things and go, uh, uh. That's because he could barely hear anything. He suffers from otitis media with effusion, which is a buildup of fluid behind the eardrum. Bubba, look, I found this piece. Being able to hear his sister Macy now or play games with his family was almost unheard of a few short years ago. And then there were the severe earaches. Those are the sleepless nights that you're completely helpless as a parent because your kid is writhing in pain at 3 a.m. and there's absolutely nothing you can do to help him. A lot of the time it just ring, ring, ring. It was getting annoying and uh, it, it just felt like it was underwater sometimes. So doctors recommended putting tubes in his ears, a surgery he's had three times so far, costing thousands of dollars, even with their family insurance. It hurts your heart and it hurts your pride and all those bills pile in, and it was literally like, I don't know how we're gonna do this. And that's where you guys come in. 
After applying for help with the United Healthcare Children's Foundation, they got word those much needed surgeries would be paid for and Maddox would get the help he needed. I remember when we got it, I was like, I cannot believe this is happening. From my point of view, you have to have faith in God that he'll provide and take care. Um, and I think a lot of his work, he does through you guys. And as far as Maddox, he still has a search engine of information in his head. Any other questions? <laughs> and a life revving on all cylinders. It means everything to see him doing normal kid stuff, him being a normal boy. I think there's a path that he's supposed to follow. And I think that um, you guys, um, I think United Healthcare really is going to help him follow the path that he needs to follow. If you ever hang out with six-year-old AJ, here's a tip. You think tricks me. Make sure to wear good walking shoes. I didn't get them upstairs, AJ. Because you'll need them just to keep up. I can't do it. Can you see? He's very active. <laughs> That's his mom, Angela. Um, he likes to be silly and have a good time. His favorite thing is basketball. I think it's in. All of this is pretty remarkable for AJ and his North Carolina family when you consider the path they used to be on. So he couldn't hold a pencil, he couldn't do um, tie his shoes, um, he couldn't button buttons. His mom says he's been diagnosed with sensory processing disorder, something she and her husband discovered when he was four, but traced back to when he was a baby. One of the first things that happened when he was born is they said he couldn't keep his temperature, and, we were, and I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, they kept taking him out and putting him under light and bringing him back in. As he got older, his motor skills were off. He had trouble walking, sounds were irritating, calming him down could be a struggle. Much of it related to his senses. When we did the psychological assessment, the psychologist was, she was amazed. She was like, I've never seen a child who has sensory needs across all of the domains. So they started occupational therapy, captured here by his mom, to help regulate his senses. And it was working, but... And I said to my husband, I said, how are we gonna make this work for an entire year? Some nights we was up, you know, after he'd go to bed, it was like, well, what can we shift? Or how can we get, you know, get this money for this copay? The assessment, along with regular therapy sessions, cost thousands of dollars. Enter the United Healthcare Children's Foundation. Our therapist is the one who told us about it. They applied, and like so many before them, realized they weren't alone after all. I was definitely relieved. Like, uh, it's a weight lifted off of you. And without United Healthcare Children's Foundation, oh, we wouldn't be in, <laughs> we wouldn't be in OT. He wouldn't be making the progress that he's making. Eight plus six. Fourteen. <laughs> and the progress continues. He shocked us the other day. We were in a grocery store and he spoke to another child. <laughs> we were like, my husband and I were like, we just looked at each other we were like, did he just speak to somebody? <laughs> that that just makes me overjoyed, so. Progress, big and small. He tied his shoe for the first time. I was just like, oh, <laughs> we've made it. We've arrived. He can tie his shoes. Progress that has set this family on a path they all can walk together a bit easier. You know, the quote unquote typical child can, they, you know, they do all of these things. But when you have a child who can't, then every small step is like a giant leap. And we can do that without you guys. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.